Hi, welcome to Hardy Classics. And today, there you go, another van, another day, another van. If you know me, you know what I'm like with my commercials. I love light commercials. Absolutely adore them, they're part of my youth. And uh, I think a lot of people are that way. And this one here is, is really something special. It's a 1939 uh, Austin Ruby van, which is a rare thing in itself. But what makes this double rare is this is the last one off the production line. So this is the last van that ever came off that production line. It ceased production in 1939, and that's the last van, the last one off the production line. And, and what a rare thing it is. Obviously, it's been restored at some point. Um, we've bought it out of a deceased estate along with another couple of vehicles, which you'll see on the website. Um, the best way I can describe this van is it's sitting in its work and clothes. It's not over restored. It's if a, if the van was ten years on, you know it was it was produced in 1939. If it was, you know, 1949, that's what the van would look like with the way the bodywork is. Not that it's rotten or rusty. It's just the way it looks. And I wouldn't change it in any way. I definitely wouldn't. Paintwork. It's presentable. Uh, it's got a shine on it. Again, but there's imperfections in it. It's not a conk horse paint job, but it's not conk horse money. The van's not a fortune as vans go, because we all know how much these things can be worth. Sign writing, it's got the guy's sign writing on the side there. It's hand painted. You could, you could get that painted off and your name in there. That wouldn't be a problem. Same on the door. I would leave it the way it is. It's a bit of history. Um, just a, it's a nice thing. Vinyl roof, of course, a lot of them had the, the vinyl roofs to save money and uh, weight. So they put they put the little vinyl roofs on them. Um, this one's nice, it's been done. Quick look inside. There's the interior. It's it's nice and tidy. It's had new seat bases, but they haven't bothered with the backs, which is a bit unusual. Again, would you bother? I don't know. New door cards, the, the door cards are nice. And to be fair, you know, it's had new door cards, new side bases. Wouldn't cost a lot of money to get them covered. You'd make it nice. There's the inside of it. You can see with the wood, the lats, the wood frame. Obviously, the outside's covered in aluminium. I've actually had vans before that were covered in hardboard. So walking around the van, wheels and tyres are good. Obviously, it's got the nice little number plate on the top there. Back doors, sign written. Two little portholes there, spare tyre and wheel. Exhaust good. Around this side, again, wheels and tyres good. We'll have a look in here. Again, the dash is nice. Everything's nice and period. Again, not over restored like a lot of these things do. Um, I've got a video of the engine running, but I'll just whip that up and show you. There's the engine bay, nice and clean. Like I say, it starts and stops. Does what it says on the tin really um like all these commercials i wouldn't i wouldn't like to drive them two or three hundred miles they're bloody uncomfortable and uh that's the way they are but if you want something to take to a show you want something nobody else has got because other people have austin ruby vans and morris minor vans or whatever but they won't have the last van off the production line and this is the last fan of the production line. If you need any more information on it, look on our website, follow us on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, send us a message. I'll send you some more photographs or a walk around video. A lot of people buy cars and vans off us. They don't even come to the site. They just ask for pictures and we'll send them and they'll say yes. Transfer the money and it's away. We'll transport it away. Um, but there you have it. The uh, Austin 7 Ruby van, the last one. Right, well, we'll get this little base fired up and uh, see how she goes. Like I say, if you need any more information, just give us a shout. Uh, follow us on Instagram or YouTube, Facebook. We're on all the social media sites. Um, we're actually having a car show on the 12th of June. If you could come down there and have a chat to us. If we haven't sold this, we'll be taking this down. It'll be up for sale. Bye-bye now.